Brett, let's talk about this awesome weather heading our way. In the meantime, it's not so bad today. Yeah. When's the snow coming in? Uh, tomorrow morning, mm. and I think it'll snow, and it's going to be kind of that heavy, wet snow accumulating mainly uh, first on grassy uh, areas, but may start to accumulate on the roadways. Let's take a look at the current weather alerts. Nothing going on here in Kansas, Missouri, uh, even parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas are all clear. There's a winter weather advisory through 6 o'clock tomorrow for West Texas. We'll see if that is expanded to the northeast. Right now, we'll call it mostly cloudy. It's 40 at the airport. There's a northwest wind at 8 miles an hour. It feels like it's 34. Certainly cold enough for snow with this high pressure system in control. The storm system we're tracking, though, is well off to the southwest. A little bit of precipitation showing up around Garnett to Shell Rock. Some light rain showers. It's likely evaporating before it gets down to the surface, but I can't rule out a sprinkle for Nevada. Timeline for this afternoon. Sunny blend 43 at 1 p.m. 44 at 2 o'clock. Our high today 45. That's not bad. That's what we did yesterday with the north wind on the light side at about 5 to 10. Cooler to the north. Bethany at 43. Garnett and Butler may get closer to 50 degrees and Lawrence up to around 46. We'll see the clouds continue to move from west to east across the area, but it's this storm system here. That's our Wednesday storm system that we're tracking and forecast track shows you watch the bottom of the screen. That's where the snow first moves in tomorrow morning at about 8 o'clock. Lacine Butler Clinton. It moves up to Kansas City sits here for a few hours. It looks like the heaviest snow is just off to our southeast. Again, this will be a heavy snow with big fat snowflakes coming down at times with the temperature sitting at about 35 degrees. Here's the cold front. Watch the temperatures crash behind that cold front down to 19 by 10 a.m down to 7 or 8 by 7 o'clock. This could cause some flash freezing for us, and that means we could have some issues with very icy roadways Thursday morning. Because of the nature of the snow, because the temperatures are sitting around 35, sort of a wide range on the amounts, a dusting to 3 inches of snowfall, possible from, say, St. Joe all the way down to Butler, but there could be a heavier strip that could extend in isolated areas back into Johnson County on the Kansas side and Jackson County on the Missouri side out through Lafayette County and Saline County. So up to four inches of snowfall possible there. A little wider view of everything, you'll see four to five inches of snowfall into eastern Illinois. So tonight, cloudy, dry streets. Tomorrow, slushy, snow-covered streets. And then Thursday, watch out for some morning Icy spots, that'll certainly be a possibility. But I want to show you this. Security Bank 7-day forecast, 45 tomorrow, 35, 90% chance of snow. Skip ahead to Friday, 34, and then look at the weekend. 50 Saturday, 53 Sunday. President's Day next Monday, 56 degrees. Carolyn, there is some data that suggests it will be in the 60s. Ooh. The snow might play. If we don't get a lot of snow, we'll see 60 on Monday. If we got four or five inches of snowfall, we might have to trim those numbers back a little bit. Back into the 50s. Even yeah, that sounds great. Still though. very nice. No complaints. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Brett.